The Department of Social Services has established a help desk for residents of the Family Islands who have relocated to New Providence in the aftermath of Hurricane Joaquin. The help desk is located at the Department of Rehabilitative Welfare Services on Thompson Boulevard, opposite the College of the Bahamas' Culinary and Hospitality Institute. Those services will be provided between the hours of 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can also reach the department at 322-6317 or 323-1877. The National Insurance Board is also providing help to those displaced by the storm. Officials there say they are making every effort to alleviate the burden of devastation by making things easier for those affected. The fact that you may not have your cards, you can report to the local health care facilities there or the alternate locations for the health care facilities. And we are sending down supplies, that would be medications as well as medical supplies, such as glucometers, um, spacers, nebulizers, to assist persons who may have lost their supplies or are low on their supplies. And we recognize that through the devastation down there, you're unable to get back and forth as you regularly would. So if you are low on supplies with two weeks or less on your medications, we are willing to refill those, and we can refill those up to a three-month supply rather than your regular one-month supply. We presently have in Long Island approximately 530 persons registered with the plan. In San Salvador, we have about 84 persons. In Acklands, 91 persons. And in Crooked Island, 75 persons. Director with Responsibility for Family Islands, Winston Moss, says those who lost NIB cards and the drug cards during the storm can get those replaced. And those who need to be verified should find the nearest NIB office as soon as possible. Persons in Acklands and Crooked Island and Maguana, where cash payments are made, those payments will be made as normal. However, if you're in New Providence, you're going to have to check with the National Insurance Board Customer Service Department and fill in a form and you have, we will appreciate if you're able to do it within, before the 14th. And the reason for that is that we, we have to make arrangements for the, the other 33,000 pensioners to be paid and that is the deadline. Just days after Hurricane Joaquin ripped through the Southern Bahamas, staff at Solomon Super Center Solomon's Fresh Market and Cost Right jumped right into action. They started loading trucks with food items and new clothes earmarked for the Bahamas Red Cross. We just feel as though it's our corporate responsibility to assist those who've been impacted by the hurricane. These are our customers. These are the families of our customers. In addition, we have a number of employees who have families on these out, out islands that have been impacted. So we just felt as though this is the least that we could do to support persons who support us day in and day out. The goods valued at $25,000 were distributed to residents, residents devastated by the storm on Tuesday. Moving forward, Bastian says employees will be split into teams to assist the Red Cross in preparing care packages. It's hoped in the coming weeks another initiative will be launched aimed at helping residents in the impacted areas. Meantime, the company is partnering with Hands for Hunger here in Nassau and the Red Cross in Freeport. Bastian explains exactly how this joint venture will work out persons can come in and drop off donations. Um, from what I understand, they're in need of grocery items, cleaning supplies, baby items like diapers, wipes, etc. The Rotary Clubs of the Bahamas have also mobilized efforts to assist victims impacted by the hurricane. District Governor Felix Stubb said in times of disasters, Rotarians often look to assist hard-hit areas. Over the last few days, the focus, he said, has been on collecting donations. Normally we are not the first out of disaster, but we are always generally the last to leave because we tend to do a lot of rebuilding and capacity building after disasters. In the case of the recent hurricane disaster, uh, so what we have done, particularly uh, Rotaractors who are the young Rotarians between the ages of 18 and 35, uh, they've been busy raising items for the affected areas. Uh, they did it on Saturday and again on Sunday, and so they've sent a lot of stuff almost a container load of stuff to the islands already. 
But the assistance does not stop there. Stubbs notes, though, that attention is also being directed on fundraising efforts and a special event for later this week is also planned. There are so many people out there already raising goods uh, to send to the islands. Our, th our strength is raising funds so that we can buy items that are necessary. So things like tarp for roofs and medical supplies and providing fuel for the planes that have to be flying and fuel for the boats that have to take this stuff down. That's where we want to put our focus. To do that, we're going to have a telethon on Friday between the hours of 10 and 1, hosted at the Hilton. And we're asking the business community to tune in to ZNES and to the radio stations, the talk shows, and support the telethon. Uh, every dollar raised will go directly into supporting our hurricane victims in the islands affected.